Alright, put this back. Uh, put this back. Put that there. And then... Put that there. So if instead of having this stuff on this side, I have it on the other side. has to go to the other side. <laughs> So this is uh, the same thing again. Now let me grab the glass bottles. Bottles that turns that off. Two, three, four, five. That goes back there. That's kind of awkward because it comes down. Okay, so if this, if as before, this actually goes like this side, then everything's good. How do we test that? Best way to test that. Best way to test that is if we put a signal in there for testing purposes. That should have chucked the bottle out here. Yep, there it is. Can I actually like see the bottle flying out the side? Yeah, there it is. It goes that way, but it comes out from the beehive, it looks like. Because it's, it's up and around. Isn't that curious? <laughs> and it goes that way every single time. Like, it, it comes... Like, it goes from the right to the left every single time. <laughs> Alright. 
Good. Good. Uh, what time is it? So the plan... Is we, we leave this. I leave this during the week. Just to make sure that works. Oh, that should come down to here, shouldn't it? This stuff... Should go to there. Doesn't really matter. So this is the design, and if we look at the size of this thing, let's plan this out. So it's like one, two, three, and then the next one can be so there's like two blocks and then one block gap between the two of them. So each module is like two and then a gap, two and a gap, right? And if we mark that out here, how many of these can we fit? Alright, so if we stop there, two Uh, if they always pop that side, oh, that's fine, yeah. Two and a gap. So, like, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably eight. Eight would get us to more or less the other side of the flower factory. If we want six, 16 then, it would have to be double story, double height. But beyond this, I also want the honeycomb. I guess we can have like two stories of honey bottles and then two stories of honeycomb. It seems like a lot of honey, though. Do we really need... Or is 8 enough? Is 8 enough, or do we really need 16? 8's probably enough. Like, 8, eight honey bottles and 8 honeycomb. It's quite slow, though. Maybe, maybe 16. Uh... Now the other thing is the length of this. One, two, three. Oh, and we need space for flowers too, right? This is only the the actual um, farm, the actual machine. So beyond this, we need space for flowers. At least like one row for flowers. So we imagine wall flowers. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, space. 12. If we leave space for like a little walkway there, and then like 1. I mean, that end of it, we don't need a wall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh crap, did I count wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I didn't count wrong. It actually, like. If I do 12, there's no room on this side for anything. Is that right? Really? Space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're here. Okay. So we can like barely fit this in this space. But only this. Um I also need to design the The honeycomb one. The honeycomb one is much simpler, and in fact much thinner, because when you put it, which put shears in a dispenser, and you face the dispenser towards a 
beehive. The shears, like, you only does something if if it's ready to be harvested. If there's not, if it's not ready to be harvested, nothing happens. So we just need to. Um, so imagine. Well, I need more space. I put this here. If you imagine, nine like that, and then I should actually. We want the dispenser underneath. We want the dispenser above, don't we? So imagine that, and then imagine beehive, and then imagine. Expensive facing this way, and then every time there's a block update on the hive, you activate the dispenser. So it literally is just. It's just, it's just that. <laughs> That's all it is. And then, like, this just goes back in. Uh, the problem here, though, I think. Let me get some shears. Where, where are my shears? I do have one pair of shears there. Well, I mean, these are the, for the grass. <laughs> Got shears all over the place. Uh, equipment. Alright, shears. Um, and I think even bees going in and out of the beehive will drop a honeycomb. The problem with this though is that if if it's the same as that, the honeycomb is going to bounce this way and it might lodge onto this. So I really should turn this around. Um, what happened? Wait, what happened? Right, when it... Oh crap. I just cut it, didn't I? Yeah, I just harvested it. Uh, I didn't see which way it fell though. <laughs> did it fall straight down or did it. That's. Did it fall straight down or did it um, go sideways? There. That goes there. Alright, let me grab another hive. <laughs> so I can see what's going on. Animal.
Alright, so when you stick that there... Or it just drops straight down. It appears next to it and it drops straight down. That's so interesting. Alright, so there's that. Let me put this down because... Oh, wait. Let me put this down. So I can fill this back with honey. And glass. Honeycomb. Glass. Um. Can the bees navigate out of there? Or are they gonna get stuck? Because I think sometimes the honeycomb does fly sideways a little bit. If I do this, it'll make sure the... Honeycomb doesn't go anywhere, but the bees will have to, like, fly up and out. Let me sleep. And then see what the bees do. Bees are fine. The bees are just fine. How many bees are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, there should be nine. In fact, let me breed. Get a few extra bees in here, just in case. So I think that's more or less it for today. Let me think about next week. For next week, I need 16, like I need to prepare 16 beehives, ideally with like bees in them. And are we just going to do 8 and 8? Um... And I want to like make sure the the stuff works, right? Make sure all of this works. Pretty sure that it does, but I'm gonna AFK for a while. Like let the beehives run to make sure that they work over the long term. And then next week we build honey and honeycomb farms. Are these things... Alright, so if there are too many bees, then they, they won't figure out a nest to go back into. So that guy, that guy went back in there. Anyway, alright, so I'm going to end the stream here for today. I will uh, probably like prep materials. Next week, bees. <laughs> alright, see you later. Later, Reaper. Later, have a...